Hey, it's me. I'm back again. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back again. Mm. Two in a row. Two in a row. Woo-woo. You dancing too, baby. Two in a row. Okay. This one's going to, it ain't going to take long, so I thought I'd go ahead and knock it out real quick. Broccoli casserole. This is how I do it. All right. Now, you don't have to do it like this. You can do it like you always done it. This is how I do it. And it's good. Okay. I've done ready to it. Bag of broccoli. Florets. Little trees. And I boiled them down until they had absolutely no nutritional value whatsoever. No, I'm kidding. There's still a little bit left. Okay. Now, cream of mushroom soup. Go ahead and get the big can instead of opening four or five and little ones, okay? Save yourself the trouble. So, we're going to open this can up. Okay? And in it goes. Now, you can do cream of chicken. You can do cream of celery. You can mix. Cream of something. Cream of something soup goes in here no matter what. I like cream of mushroom. That's what I do. Okay. Cream of mushroom soup is in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some sour cream that makes it good and creamy deamy so I'm gonna put ever how much that is I think about a half of a cup you don't want too much cuz then it's overkill okay shredded a mild cheddar you can do sharp extra sharp Kobe, whatever. This just needs some cheese, y'all. And I, this is a 16-ounce bag. I'm going to hit it with about half. About half. Okay, now, here comes my secret ingredient, which after right now won't be much of a secret anymore. I put a whole bag of these French fried onions boom right in it I put them in it on it in it in it and now we're gonna stir now I did I decided to do this right here in the dish so I wouldn't have to wash another container so this might take a minute if you do it this way you just gotta be careful you know don't get all crazy just use your little spoon or whatever and flip it and flop it around and mash it all together it's okay. Normally I do this in a bowl, but I'm trying not to do dishes is what I'm trying not to do. Because if I'm being honest, that's my least favorite thing in the world is dishes. And I have a dishwasher, but it ain't much. I mean, it's all right, but you pretty much got to wash the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. So, you know. Might as well just wash the dishes. I mean, who are we kidding? Okay. Mmm, yes. So now we got all that mixed up together. Now we're going to smooth it down. Okay. We're going to smooth it down. Lay it down flat. Lay it down like I lay down the law to my man. Woo! You better not be out there talking to no hoes. Lay it down, which he wouldn't. He's a good one. But see, he works for cable. You know, he does cable. That's what he does. And you just never know who you're going to run into out there. And there's some thirsty women that's in their world. Okay? But I pray a hedge up. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, watch over this man. Put up the, put up the defense against the hoes. Yen's going to think I'm crazy. I am. Okay, here we go. Seasonings. This is just what I do. You don't have to do it. This is what I do. Hey, hey, hey. You better quit. You knock that over, you're in trouble. I'm telling you right now. 
Little onion powder. Get out there. Little onion powder. And I just lay these right on top. Because see what's going to happen. We stick this in the oven. It's going to start burbling up. And the burbles are going to drag it all and mix it all together. I don't have to do no work. Okay. Garlic powder. Okay. Garlic powder. And some black pepper. Going to keep it real with the black pepper. Okay. Now we're going to hit this with no salt. Okay. That cream mushroom soup and that cheese and all that's got enough salt in it to kill a horse. Don't add salt to this. If you want salt, it's salted on your plate. Don't give us all a heart attack, okay? Good deal. Now, secret ingredient, instead of Ritz crackers, okay, I do another bag of French fried onions. And I just scatter them out all over the top, just like that right there. Look there. Whoo. This is like a marriage between green bean casserole and broccoli casserole, okay? Except, let me tell you, this is good. And it's good. And rich crackers are good too, okay? But I just tell you right now, put you some french fried onions on top of this and you'll never go back. We're gonna pop this in a 350 oven. Just long enough for it to all get heated through because everything done ready cook, see? So that's all we gotta do with that. In fact, this is something right here that you can make up ahead. This is what I'm doing. You pop it in the refrigerator, cover it up, put it in the fridge, and then in the morning or later on this evening or whenever you decide to have dinner, pop that thing in the oven. 20 minutes, done. Good to go, ready to rock. See, make ahead. Use the old brain. All right, folks, that's all I got this evening. Here after a while, we're going to fry some chicken. Get all crazy with that if I don't eat all these onions. So, remember, one bag of broccoli. How big a bag was that? Oh, I don't know where it went. Anyway, it was, the, it was about this big of broccoli florets. Now, you can use the broccoli cuts. If that's what you, you know, that's your journey. It's whatever you want to do, man. I like florets. I like little trees. So we've got it all put together. It's going to go in here in the fridge. About 30 minutes before husband gets home. Boom. In the oven. He comes home. Boom. Hot meal. Yeah. Tammy, I'm working on one right now. It's going to take me a little while. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write me out a cookbook. So that's all I got. Uh, we got broccoli casserole. We got our coleslaw ready to go. We're fixing to have our deviled eggs. We're going to have mashed potatoes. And uh, we're going to have some fried chicken. Y'all be good. Stay in school. Say no to drugs and I love you.